Welcome back to the channel investors guys today has been an absolutely crazy day in fact the last week has been crazy waiting for this one day which of course was FOMC we needed to see what on earth the Fed was going to do and how on earth the market was going to react luckily here it is looking like the market is reacting relatively positively a uh, 0.75 percent or a 0.75 uh, point increase there not too big of a deal investors pretty much expected that they're liking what Jerome Powell is saying currently as I'm recording this video and the market is reacting positively so I'd love to see it we actually shorted the VIX in the discord and played a spy straddle and both of those are playing off very very nicely but anyways guys that is not what you are here for if you are here for that well you might want to go to a different video because we are talking about Deegan penny stocks in today's video guys I have about four or five penny stocks to share with you guys in today's video two of them being pretty much urgent swing trades here one of them that is absolutely brand new to the channel that I do believe has anywhere from 20 to over 100% gains here within the next week or two so make sure and stay tuned I think you guys are definitely gonna like what I have for you in today's video make sure and drop a like on this video and also if you want to get into all of these penny stocks early as well as receive my option alerts and even trade live with me every single morning click that link below to the discord where we do that every single single day of the week no questions asked we're learning in there and we're also actually trading with each other which is absolutely amazing but anyways guys let's get right into this video now I'm not going to show you that penny stock just first here yet because I want to talk about one other stock before we get into that and that is Redbox. Redbox absolutely killed it the last couple of days. As we can see, Redbox just, I mean, skyrocketed. You can see just over the last one month here, $3.80 all the way up to it hit $19 in the pre-market. I do believe this was a couple of days ago. Absolutely massive move here for Redbox. Now we have cooled off over the last probably day or two now but the numbers are still exactly the same and this is what still keeps me bullish on Redbox for more and more opportunities I've said this for months now especially weeks now in almost every single video that every day Redbox presents opportunities in the market to make a ton of money especially when trading options right so you can see here from moon market that Redbox still 1000% minimum cost to borrow this is absolutely huge we can click on it here and let's take a look at the short interest numbers 200 125% short interest and over 1000% cost to borrow. The numbers are absolutely insane, which leads me to believe that Redbox still has a substantial opportunity ahead of us here. Maybe you're holding for a short squeeze and maybe you're just looking for a couple of swing trades. I think both opportunities are here for Redbox. So make sure you keep checking that out. But let's get into penny stocks here right so i want to show you this uh right here from joe kaz here shout out to him but he says what do i look for while dding a fresh play right so a lot of you guys were asking this how do i find these stocks and i kind of commented back and told you but these are some of the best things right here these six steps are absolutely great that i personally use which is why i want to share them with you guys so it says lower volume under the radar that's step number one little to no dilution that's an obvious one but number two forward looking catalyst probably the the biggest part out of this six step plan right here is a big forward looking catalyst if you do not know already penny stocks move on news they move off of catalyst so if you can find these catalyst plays you can almost immediately bank especially confirming it with some of these other things now we also want to look for a nice nice setup, both technically and fundamentally, a good share structure, an active company, which is usually on Twitter at these early stages, and also forming a bottom on the chart. If you follow these six steps, you are likely to be successful within the penny stock world. Now, let me show you guys the new penny stock that I want to share with you guys today, and this is ticker symbol here where we had yeah ticker symbol vgid this is a v group here okay and as we can see this stock is up about 50 percent today so with that being said be careful with this stock what we want to do here what we want to see is wait for a pullback we definitely do not want to get in this stock right now after it's already ran a 50 percent we missed this initial opportunity but we didn't miss the entire opportunity. So shout out to Chase here, Chase Mac Trades on Twitter. Go check him out. He actually shared with me this stock, and I do think it has big potential coming up, but we can see it from V Group's Twitter here, working on something huge, hoping to have information to share by the end of next week. These types of catalysts are what makes penny stocks move. We have done this so many, so many, so many times before, and every single time it 
almost always works out, right? So, but we have to be careful, right? This stock already ran. So now the best case scenario would be waiting for this stock to have a big pullback, right? Hopefully we can load up on this stock at a pretty big pullback after investors take their profit and ultimately wait for the next run up. Once that pulls back, it would be good to get into that trade, ultimately ride it all the way up into next week, possibly even the beginning of next week if we get that run up and sell out. We do not want to hold this into the catalyst. Usually it's going to be a sell the news type of event. Now, what you need to understand here is if this stock just keeps on running all the way into next week, we're not going to chase this. We're not going to get into this stock. We definitely do not chase green candlesticks, right? But if we can wait for a pullback, get a great opportunity, get some great buys on this stock, then ultimately ride that into the catalyst and sell before the catalyst, I do think there's a big opportunity to bank here. So, like I said, shout out to Chase. I do think there is a big opportunity uh, to bank off of V Group here. As you can see, VGID, if a company says huge update, I listen exactly what I do. I love when companies say that stuff because it usually works out in our favor for swing trades. And as you guys can see here, just some of the swing trade opportunities we have done over the last couple of weeks, I posted on Twitter here, SFOR, 70% gainer, GHMP, 85% gainer, obviously Redbox, uh, IMPP, 51% gainer, CYBL, 55% gainer. Understand with these two, these were pure catalyst plays swing stocks, right? Literally, and actually, GTR is another one we need to add to this list but because that was more recently after this post but regardless all three of those all two of these 70 85 percent gains that was just based off of one catalyst that came on june 14th june 15th we got in it the week before at very very good buys on a nice pullback they were down like 20 percent one day we got in on a nice pullback and rode that thing all the way up to the catalyst and i was like take profits take profits take profits obviously as soon as that catalyst came they tanked so important that investors sell the news so don't chase green can candlesticks but regardless news plays are absolutely great and i do think that uh v group here could present a big opportunity ahead of us now i do have one more penny stock swing trade here that i do think is gonna uh give us substantial gains we already made about 15 percent on this stock but i do think that's just the beginning this is ticker symbol nxmr this is nextmart right sitting here at 0 0.033 the good thing about this stock is it's already on a pullback down about 30 percent just over the last five days but what we need to understand is that they have some big deals, uh, big deals that should be announced this week. So we already had one big deal, which made this stock run up about 20%. Obviously, what happened? Investors sold the news. Now the stock is selling off. So understand it's a cycle. It's a catalyst cycle with these stocks. So make sure you're taking profits when you're green and you're only loading up on these stocks when they're red because more than likely they're going to go red again. And if you're buying when they're green, you're going to pretty much be selling when they're red because that's going to be the next step, right? So make sure you're in the rotation with these uh, with these penny stock plays. But regardless, that was after the first deal. And now we see that the second deal should be announced this week. Audit only two weeks away. Two more deals to announce after this week. Big Big, big things coming with this stock, I think. And I think there is a chance that this stock runs up and presents another great opportunity for investors. So I would keep you guys updated. Of course, the Discord will be updated first on these penny stock plays to see ultimately what I find. Obviously, it's much easier to type it out than it is to make a whole video on it. So make sure you're in the Discord. That link will be in the description below. But these are the two penny plays that I'm currently watching right now into next week and into the week after to see if we can make some money on some swing trades, right? remember what is the most important part get good buys on these stocks do not chase green candlesticks i do not want to hear well i bought here and now it's down here please if it just keeps running up do not get into these stocks right not financial advice whatsoever but do not chase green candlesticks that's very very important set your stop losses take profits early and you will have success in these markets okay but anyways, moving on to one of my favorite stocks, which is ticker symbol CYBL. This is a long-term stock for me right here. This is in my load-up zone, right? I love loading up on CYBL 0 0.010 all the way to about 0 0.013, 0 0.014 somewhere in that range right obviously the lower the better because we have bounced off of that 0.010 to 0.012 so many times before right so it's great for swing trades just like we literally did where's that chart at here yeah we are literally loading it up down here at 0.012 buy zone it had some great news it went up to point uh it's supposed to be 0 0.018 there, not 18 cents, but whatever, 0 0.018 there for a 55% gain in literally one week time. So CYBL does move like that. That's why I love to load up on it down on these levels. And you can just see the chart. 
it happens, right? It's not the prettiest chart in the world, but this is what happens with CYBL. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of opportunities if you see fit. But one of the biggest things that happened here with CYBL is this, they had a business update and announced insane uh, revenues and also net income. So we can see here that they confirmed that they delivered $6.25 million in revenue and posted $1.24 uh, million in net income for the period ending March 31st, 2022. Now this means nothing till you compare it to the year over year, which was a 543% increase in net income growth. Absolutely huge. Take a look. Like I said, um, CYBL is one of those companies that under promises and over delivers when they come out with these numbers They're always beating expectations and that's exactly what happened, right? So first off revenue from operations uh, six million dollars here uh, up 13% from the previous quarter Importantly, they also exceeded the first quarter 2022 plan. They planned on having 4.5 million dollars in revenue They ended up having 1.7 million or they beat the plan by $1.7 million, right? So they had $6 million here, expected 4.5. They they uh, beat the plan by 38.8%, almost a 40% increase. And that's what I mean by under-promising and over-delivering. That is great for companies, right? You can see they also, uh, their net income increased 1,500%, which was over the last 12 months. Just absolutely great stuff here for CYBL. I mean, you really can't beat it and is one of my favorite stocks for the long term. Leave me a comment down below. I want to know two things from you. One, I want to know what's your uh, what swing trade you like the most right now, right? For one to one week to a month, about what swing trade are you guys looking at right now? And also, what is your favorite long term hold penny stock that you think is not going to be a penny stock in maybe three to five years? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to research all the stocks that you guys say, but. Also, we can see your Cyberlux announcing uh, their share repurchase program, which is absolutely huge. You guys can read the terms of that. I already talked about it, but I wanted to highlight it again. So great stuff going on with CYBL. Now, what's not a penny stock is NEO, but what's also flying is NEO. What also presents a great opportunity is NEO. What we've also been talking about for over a year now is NEO. NEO, NEO, NEO. I really, really like this stock for the long term. I got a little bit bearish on this stock for a while when all the China FUD was going on, but glad to see some of that, uh, you know, got out of the way with. But Neo, I mean, take a look at this stock. Finally, it is getting just a, just a little bit of movement, up 36% over the last one month after it's been absolutely getting destroyed. So today they increased their uh, stock price by 16% after a product launch, which was great to see. This was awesome. This was today. So that was obviously great. Tie that with FOMC. We're seeing a lot of green for Neo. But two analysts also come to one conclusion about neo stock and say that it is a buy we can see less than a week after reporting its q1 financial results uh vehicle deliveries of 28.5 percent um and you can see neo worked to change the story tuesday by announcing it will launch a new product on wednesday and meeting with analysts to give uh some insight into what is coming next indeed they did announce the es7 which was great they say it's going to be one of the most popular cars here in china also all the bottlenecks seem to be over now neo has returned to full capacity and is now pumping out vehicles which is great to see another very very bullish thing uh yeah like it says here et7 and et5 are likely to be the most desired cars in china and the premium and electric vehicles of course but as we can see the most important part here to this end you rates uh neo shares a buy and has a 45 dollar price target on this 19 dollar stock as you can see from tip ranks analysts here the 39 dollar is pretty much the medium price target with a high of 87 dollars per share and a low of 26 dollars per share i do think neo is significantly undervalued for the opportunity that they present here in the electric vehicle space and i really can't wait till they come to the united states but that is all i have for you guys in today's video let me know what you think personally neo one of my favorite stocks here for the long term the stock has been getting absolutely demolished as i do believe their business just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger that to me shows a, a you know an inverse there a, a a strong correlation there and i do think this stock is going to be successful sometime in the future but that's all i got for you in today's video guys like i said let me know down in the comments below what penny stocks you're watching watching two swings here for the next week or two i'll let you know if i find anything else and also a bunch of great stocks that i do think are just great load up zones here for the long term but leave me a comment down below like this video i'll see you guys over there in the discord and i will also see you in the next video